Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for April 26th to uh, May 2nd. <laughs> Uh, my name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, okay? Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. The link for that is down below. I post different readings over there and just different educational stuff around spirituality. So if you're interested in learning more and kind of about my journey, then definitely check me out over there too, okay? So we have friendship that popped out for you guys. And then we have forgiveness. All right. Um, I kind of feel like you guys are like setting yourself free from something. So there was maybe a, a situation that involved with um, involved a person or a group of people here um, that I feel like you're kind of releasing yourself from. Um, a lot of you could be um, even just letting go of old baggage here that, you know, it's allowing you to just be more free in your connections even with people. So even if it's like past relationships, um, I feel like you're forgiving, you know, people for the relationships that you've had with them so that you can move into better ones. Um, and whether that includes them or not, it's just that it's setting yourself free because forgiveness is for us, right? So we have the Queen of Pentacles that came out in reverse with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Star. And then we have High Priestess, the Five of Swords, and the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I kind of feel that like you guys have created a lot of boundaries in your life, I feel. Um with that seven of wands like fighting more for yourself and you know obtaining the relationships that you that you want with people this is kind of like your soul tribe that sort of thing the reason past we have the queen of pentacles reverse the five of pentacles and the nine of swords so a lot of you have kind of like i think i feel like there's a um some of you have a fear that you're, you know you're not worthy enough but a lot of you just um there's a lack of self-worth that kind of kept you small I feel like with the the nine of swords here it's like a fear was that you were never good enough for people or situations and maybe there was a specific situation that made you feel this way um, I do see you guys kind of like breaking free of that and healing that the current energy is the five of wands the knight of wands and the star so I feel like Again, there's like drama, conflict, possibly even in connections, but just in your life, I feel like it's a struggle that a lot of you have, um, it's like you've struggled to find your passion, your creativity, what makes you stand out here with the star and the knight of wands. It's like what makes you different um, and embracing that. Um, some of you have maybe struggled with that for a little while and maybe feeling like you're different than the people around you. Um, but I do see you healing this as well with the star energy. So good things I feel coming out of that. The near future energy, we have the High Priestess, the Five of Swords, and the Chariot. I see you guys moving to a more clear space mentally. A lot of you are leaving behind, you know, manipulative people. Or just even those, the, those you know, the challenges that you face mentally. I see you kind of leaving that behind. And with the High Priestess, it's like you're following more of your intuition here. Um, kind of moving forward. So let's clarify here. What is this nine of swords in the recent past for Pisces? What is the nine of swords here in the recent past for Pisces? We have the magician. Tell me more about the nine of swords here for Pisces in the recent past spirit. What is this? We have the hermit strength in the sun. And the five of cups yeah like i feel like there could have been a situation even where a person left you um or you left a situation there was a situation that ended i feel like that i feel like when you were in the the relationship it's like you really kind of lost who you really were and i feel like now um there's a little bit of like you needing to find that person or find who you really are find that person deep down in, inside of you find that light right with the hermit and the sun it's like finding that light within finding you know realizing kind of who you are um, so that you can manifest what it is that you truly desire. A lot of you have like lost the belief um, or you had lost the belief that you could create your own reality. 
Um, and I think that you guys have done a lot of healing work, I feel, around this. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. So again, it's like sadness of loss, right? But I feel like you guys are, you really worked through that energy, is what I feel. Yeah, Queen of Swords, again, like boundaries. A lot of you could have, could have cut people out of your life to gain some clarity on your situation. And that can be forgiveness as well. People don't have to be in your life for you to forgive them, right? It's something that you kind of, it, it's changing your outlook on the situation, right? And it doesn't mean that you accept what that person did to you or how they made you feel, but you forgive them for doing that. Um, so let's see, what is this Knight of Wands here in the current energy? Because I see you taking action towards something that you, you know, kind of desire or want. What's the Knight of Wands here in the current energy for Pisces spirit? What is the Knight of Wands? Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah, so definitely leaving something behind. Whatever this Ten of Swords, it's been a it's been a long, painful journey, I feel, to kind of like move through this energy. But I see you moving into a more vibrant energy. Um, and some of you are already kind of in this, like you're kind of you've already left this. And what I love about this one is like she almost looks like she's been set free. She's moving more towards the light. Um, you know, the light is there at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like a lot of you are taking action towards some sort of new thing that's like kind of a wish fulfillment, something that you've been hoping and dreaming for. Some of you have just like regained your sense of inspiration for like life in general. Like you just feel more optimistic. Um, we have the three of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are putting hard work into yourself and possibly even your finances. Um, let's see what this nine of cups is. What's this nine of cups for Pisces? There's definitely a, like a, a hope or a dream here with the Nine of Cups and the Star. So what is this Nine of Cups for Pisces here? What is this? King of Swords. Okay, so you guys know what it is. Um, I don't really need to clarify it. It's kind of what I'm getting with that Nine of nine, or King of Swords. With the judgment here, it's like you're moving into more alignment with who you are. You feel called to something, and I feel like you're moving towards it very quickly with the um, the Knight of Swords, which is funny because I did I did say Knight, I believe, before. Um, yeah, you're open to like working on this, whatever it is, and moving towards it. What is the um, High Priestess here? We have the Eight of Swords that came out. So again, there's like something about your your mental clarity and kind of like healing that yeah four of swords give me one more here for the high priestess a lot of you are listening to your intuition more uh you're trusting yourself you're kind of connecting back into your your feels and your emotions especially with the high priestess and the chariot those are both uh water cards which obviously you guys are so a lot of you are kind of like tapping back into that now that you have clarity of the mind yeah, a lot of you are looking at your emotions too, but there's a lot about your intuition. Trusting your intuition is going to guide you in the right direction here as well with the chariot. Um, you know, trying to quiet the mind. These are all major arcanas over, you know, this sword energy, this air energy. You guys are manifesting and, and moving into kind of a new space um, when it comes to growth and expansion in your life a lot of you are nurturing yourself too you're you're really kind of like str almost strengthening your feminine energy is what i want to say whether you're male or female yeah we have the queen of wands ten of cups like a lot of you are are getting what you want cards are just popping out temperance what's this uh five of swords here for pisces the wheel of fortune yeah things are changing you're coming out of this space of like mental conflict and ego a lot of you are getting clear. You're kind of observing it from afar. So let's see what the advice for Pisces is. I realize I did not give cancer advice. <laughs> uh, what is the advice for Pisces this week? We have the Ten of Cups. We have the King of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Believe that you can achieve what it is that you want. Um, the Four of Pentacles can be about like 
you know, being determined to reach our goals, to achieve our goals. With the King of Wands here, I do see you kind of like harnessing again that like fire energy to actively pursue what it is that you're hoping for and dreaming for. The Ten of Cups can be a dream card in the sense that it's all about, you know, you and people around you. It's not just like a, a personal goal with nobody else involved in it. Some of you are determined to enter a relationship as well that feels more like the Ten of Cups, right? Something that's more balanced in that sense. Um, and I think you're like determined on reaching that. But a lot of you currently are finding personal happiness, right? What's this Ten of Cups in the advice? What is this Ten of Cups in the advice for Pisces here? The Hanged Man. Yeah, a lot of you maybe need to shift your perception around like what it is that you really have. And again, what it is that you can achieve. It's like shifting your perce perception around like what you're worthy of. Um, and breaking free and kind of setting yourself free from any limitations that you maybe impose on yourself. So I see you guys reaching a, a state of enlightenment and that's going to allow you to pursue what it is that you truly want in life. So lots of good stuff. Um, that is what I have for you Pisces. Hopefully that resonated for you guys. Let me know down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.